They knew just when to start shooting and when to stop. Those pistols could spit out rounds just as quick as you could pull the trigger. Learning to hold your fire could be its own challenge. get faster. Well, even the slingers weren't quick enough to escape the calamity. It takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. After Zolf's little episode, Kit sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating.
better survivor. No, ma'am. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas fella. say to a kid who's seen too much. I'm Zolf of Liura. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds peckers, lunkheads, wallflowers, pincushions, fine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. supposed to start at the beginning. It's so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. He wakes up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff, the bull. The gods, they're all undone. He sees what's left of his lifelong friend. His friend, he's come undone too. Shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Bootlickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Uh, 
Ever heard of a lung blossom? It's bigger than the stories say. The breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung a leak. They say one whiff of lung blossom can make it lose your mind. It prunes it down to size somehow. Mother only knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. Made a right comfortable bed for all those bullets. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. All kinds of beasts would don't know up from down, still lurking about. Even the brushers learn to fear this place. Can't get hasty in a place like this. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Kid's got a mean throwing arm. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Queen Anne can't fit down some of these narrow paths.
Queenie leaves the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. He holds his ground. Seems the Queen's running out of options. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kid's gotta make a run for it. That old gator's right on his tail. Those leaping lunkheads still not Queen Anne any better than the kid. Queen's got one mean bite. Queenie must have scared a bunch of peckers out of hiding. sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. She's starting to get annoyed. And now he's made her mad. After all that, Kid lets the ankle gator go. Hope Queen Anne don't mind us borrowing from her treasury. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. Keep the wilds at bay. Pack yourself a musket and a pike. To fix a brush's pike, you just need a good length of knife bark. They said Queen Anne was just a folktale. Now there's living proof she ain't. That gator's a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. He ain't all that shy. Come on. 
Or they punch you so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. The next shard should be farther out there in the wilds. To prepare for the wilds, Ceylonia's brushers practice at Camp Dunsey. Had to navigate a maze of pincushions with nothing but a pike. It's a dangerous test for a dangerous job. Health tonics were off limits at Camp Dunsey. They said they made you weak. said he couldn't use any fancy footwork, just your brains and your pike. If you did all right at Camp Dauncey, you got to go to the wilds. Once you started the course, they made you finish. The brushers were Ceylonia's field agents, and their training was harsh. You had to find a path through the maze as quick as you could. One well-placed throw could take out several of those ugly critters. You can see why the brushers prized those pikes of theirs. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words. Point Lemain.
If the wild could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Kid might as well pick up where they left off. Blam, just like my fighting days. A gun like that can even put the wilds in check. Point Lemaine seen better days for sure, but it ain't done. Whole place shudders in a fit. The grand rail of Point Lemaine, not only is it still there, it still works. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. Just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. Don't let so much as one of those things slip by. Lunkheads settled in like they own the place. Fancy footwork on the rail, what with wallflowers coughing fungus everywhere. Off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Of course, the Grand Rails seem much more fighting in bygone times. Near on 50 years ago, first shots fired in the Ura Ceylonian War. Right here, that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. The rail must have shook the Ura to the bone down in those dens of theirs. 
Well, the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for it, though. All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into Swamp Weed Central. Ever tried dancing side to side while holding your breath? While choking on Swamp Weed? While Pecker's trying to prick you in the eye? Well, let me tell you, it ain't fun. He's got company up at the rail station waiting for him. Not just another wallflower or pincushion, mind you. At first, he thinks it's Zulf. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone, but something else is there. The only words kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. kid to do. He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived, and what exactly Zolf told him. Kid arrives just in time to sample Zia's famous cooking. for a song. Ah, come on, give the little tiger a break. 
just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. Fetching fizz is like a mouthful of nails, but the benefits are worth it. He wolfs down too much too fast, and it all goes to his head. I've said a lot about the kid, but he ain't the only one wrapped up in all this. What's he thinking? Well, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. <laughs> 